Bitcoin uh, has gotten me into the idea that everything should be decentralized. And, uh, and it, it made me realize how important decentralization was. We now have a new technology and it's this Bitcoin blockchain technology that allows uh, the decentralization of everything, not just banking, not just finance, although I can't wait until I can raise a fund in, all in Bitcoin, invest it all in Bitcoin, have all my entrepreneurs pay their employees and suppliers all in Bitcoin and, and have um, the entire <coughs> ecosystem built in a walled garden. And I think that that will change finance forever. And that's going to be really extraordinary. Many governments, um, the weakest governments, are resistant to change. Uh, and the strongest governments are encouraging change and encouraging progress. It's interesting, in our country, the progressives are not progressive at all. They are not progress oriented. And the liberals are not liberal at all. They're, they're not freedom thinking. Uh, I don't know how those words get thrown around, but they really haven't been. Um, I think governments that want too much control do that at the... Those are weak people. I think they're just weak people. They're people who are not willing to see change, to embrace change. And weaker people <clears throat> who, who find their, themselves in government um, try to hold power, hold what they perceive as power. But what they're really doing is um, ruining the lives of people in their country. I think that what will happen is um, there will be more and more pressure on governments, um, or you'll just get a better leader. That's happening all the way around the world, and there will be, um, and then once it's um, allowed to flourish, and people are going to use it. And once you can use Bitcoin and you'll see the end of the, the fiat currency world, I think that's coming. One Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin and it will always be one Bitcoin. Um, I assume, knock on wood, it's, only, it's always gonna be one Bitcoin. And, um, and all these other currencies are very volatile against that one Bitcoin as they slowly disappear from use. One Bitcoin will still be worth one Bitcoin. It's just the rest of the currencies have to slowly disappear from use. And then there will be a stable currency around the world that, um, that people use. And I think there will be multiple currencies. I think, you know, there will be lots of cryptocurrencies. Um, I think <clears throat> the um, the stable coin is just a bridge to Bitcoin. And, um, and sure, you can, you know, buy when everybody's depressed and sell when everybody's elated and buy when they're depressed and sell when they're elated. And then you'll end up with more Bitcoin when everybody starts using Bitcoin for their currency. We are looking at all sorts of things. We're looking at um, new entertainment in the metaverse. We're looking at um, ways people can do business in the metaverse. We have a company called Arthur that does that. New companies that have new marketplaces in the metaverse. Uh, lots of interesting things that we're looking at. We like NFTs a lot. Anything that an NFT can be, it's a piece of data that is uh, bespoke, specific to you. Hey. Meet the Drapers is our, our show uh, uh, where we interview entrepreneurs and uh, the, the winners get funding. And uh, it turns out that we have a lot of Indian followers, uh, viewers, and we have uh, the shows now up to 12 million viewers and then i think we're going to have 30 million next year our producer is indian and she has uh, brought a lot a lot of indian guest judges and that kind of thing so we do have a very 
strong tie to Indy. In fact, we had a whole show dedicated to Indian startups. We do have plans to go back to India, do another filming of a show. Long as there's freedom in your country, baby, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs>